Hi YouTube. I am Serenity Star and welcome to another amazing day on this place called Earth. So I wanted to come to you and bring another message. So I have already pulled some cards and the message is just amazing so let's get started so the first card i pulled is the gateway spirit is saying there is an opening it's um things of the past like that no longer serves you like there's a new cycle this is the new cycle. This is the new opening. You have arrived. It's time. Everything that's been done in the past is the past. Release and let go of that. It is time for a new. It is time for a new start. I'm hearing the word freshness. Freshness. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing the breeze. I'm hearing the chimes blowing. Spirit is coming in into this new cycle. And just feel it and breathe and witness the goodness of God, the goodness of spirit, your angels, your ancestors. They are right there with you. They want to help. They want to assist you. This gateway this gateway is open. It's open for you. They're saying hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you know how important and how big that is? The gateway is open. It is open for you. All you have to do is walk in it. Just walk in it. It is yours. That is amazing. They are saying it is an amazing gift. It is an amazing time. They're saying go within. And you will see. You will see in time. Go within. They're saying you are the light. You are love. You are creation. You are anointed. You are delivered. There is a spring in you of running waters that wants to tell the story, but you have to tap in to it. You have to tap in, go within, meditate, share your gifts, share your calling. And this is what they're telling me. This is what spirit is saying. I am a divine link and I'm only repeating what I am hearing right now. These are powerful words. Please listen. And they say, allow this to guide you in your life. Ashe. And the next card I pulled is relationship. I'm hearing in the next seven days, you're going to meet someone. It could be a romance. Or it could just be someone who's going to, they're saying, they're going to show you the way. They are going to help you. They're saying to release and to have joy. To, le to leave behind things that no longer serve you. They say, that's a has-been. Release those things. Allow this person to come into your life and help you. They're going to help you move through. And here it may be challenging. There may be some challenges along the way. But allow this person to assist you down your path, your journey. They will help you in your calling. They will help you with your awakening in your life. They say be calm, but also be careful. And ask for protection. Always ask for protection when you're dealing with spiritual work. Always ask for protection. Calling your angels, our, our angel 
um, Michael, Archangel Raphael for healing, Archangel Gabriel. They're all here for your protection, healing, love. Continue to call them. See the light. They'll help you see the light. And the next card is the mystic. They're saying you are the answer. You are the key. Some of you already know your gifts. You're already going through the awakening. Some of you, are, you know you're the mystic. Some of you will meet someone who are in touch with their abilities, with their psychic abilities. They say, you'll see, and you will eventually, you're going to understand. You're going to, I hear seven days again. You're going to meet someone in the next seven days. They're saying the anointing is upon you. They say, you will see. You will know in the next seven days. An anointing, something very special will be happening to you. Say, give praise, give honor, give thanks. I'm excited. I'm excited for you. I am excited. This is big. This is huge. The power of God. Say, it's in control in your life. In your life. That is exciting. The power of God is in control in your life. The next seven days. Look for the signs. Look for the symbols. You'll see. I'm so excited for you. They say each and every one of you have a unique blessing in store for you. And the next card is balance. You see the woman whispering to the man and you see the yin and the yang. I'm hearing this is spirit. You're going to hear whispers. You're going to see symbols. And the next seven days they're saying, you will hear those whispers. They will help you to balance yourself, to balance your chakras. Anything that's out of alignment, you're going to feel something different. Some of you may not understand, but you will meet someone in the next seven days. And I feel like Spirit is going to give me an, a, a message in the next seven days. I'll have for you as well. So I will continue to stay in prayer, stay in meditation, so that I can give you this message in the next seven days. They say it's a special time, a special anointing in the next seven days. And we all need balance. You know, I know that I go through, man, I go through so much learning that balance, walking with spirit and in walking with spirit, you, you will have a balance. Your chakras will clear. Some of you may need some, maybe go to a Reiki practitioner or um, a healer. Go out to nature. All these things help you balance yourself and ground yourself. I keep hearing the next seven days. There's something special that's going to happen in the next seven days. They say, look out and get ready. Look out and get ready for the next seven days. We will see what this anointing on your life will be. And they're saying hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to say hallelujah. We're going to find out what this is. And the next card is saying retreat from the outside world. Retreat from the outside world. They are saying make it plain. This time to go within. Go within. 
retreat from that outside world and go in that inside world. Tap into, tap into your heart, your heart chakra. Work on your chakras. Balance, it's about balance. Pray, meditate, go within, take your spiritual baths. I'm, I'm pointing this way that that's where my <laughs> bathtub is, but take your spiritual bath. Do what you need to do to go within so that you're able to hear. Some of us, we're clairaudient. I'm clairaudient. Some of us are clairvoyant. You'll be able to see. I have dreams and premonition dreams, so I'm a seer as well. But the more you go within, the more you tap into, the more you speak and listen, listen and speak. I'm hearing spirit will show you the way. They're saying he will show you the way. You have to do the work. I was sat down about three years ago, literally sat down and spirit has been working with me. It has not been the easiest thing. It has not been. But spiritually, I have been growing. I've been listening. You don't want to be backed in a corner the way that I was. This is the next step. Starting this channel. And working with you. Speaking with you. Sharing with you. If you have any stories about you being sat down or you going through your awakening, please comment below. I would love to hear your stories. And also tell me, what is it that, um, maybe some things that you want to hear about or some questions that you may have. I can consult with spirit. I have a divine link. And we can talk about it. Next card is... There you go. This, this, this card is really talking to me. Spend more time outdoors. I got a lot of messages going outdoors, going into nature. A lot, a lot, a lot of messages. I mean, I come out renewed. If I have any issues, anything, I go to nature. I'm a tree hugger. There's no shame in my game. I get energy. They help me release my energy. I am so grateful for nature. That's a part of... I'm hearing the word calling. But nature, that's God. That's my church, nature. So go out in nature, release, they say, and sacrifice. Release and sacrifice. Find your God within. Once you find your calling, they have to sit down. You gotta have to do the work so you can hear what it truly is, what you're supposed to do. And once that's done and it's plain, then you can be of service to others. Each one, teach one. There's so many people out here that are hurting. There are so many people out here that are confused. There's so many young people. They need an elder. They need someone to talk to. The ones who, um, what's the word? The ones who seem like they, um, they're the loudest or um, they're hurting, they're hurting the most. You know, the ones that are acting out, they're hurting the most. Sometimes you don't really have to say anything. Just stand in that space and say a prayer for that person. Or just smile. You never know what a smile would do. You never know what a smile would do. How that smile would change a person. 
You don't know what people are going through in, in, inside. You don't know what they've had to go through. And being of service is the most important thing when you've done the work. When you know your path. We're all here to do the work. We're all here to love one another. We're all here. We're here to learn lessons. And once we got that lesson, took me a lot of time, got beat up by the head. But when I started really listening, because I got tired of getting beat up by, you know, beat up. I've had my share of lessons, okay? They say a hard head makes a soft behind. Well, I have been through it, okay? Once I start listening, start doing the work, I got to a point I can tell my story through doing readings, it's all kind of ways, just meeting people. Sometimes you just don't know. So it could be one little word that helps somebody. Next card is inspire others. That is what we're here to do. Inspire others as we inspire ourselves or we take the prayer life, you know, more seriously. Spirit will inspire us and then we can inspire others. Stargazer. I don't know if you can see that or not. Set your sights higher. Spirit is saying, make it plain. What you want. What you want to do. How you want to do it. Look at the bigger picture. Why are you here? What's your purpose? No. Why are you here? Do you know? Is it to work? Get a bigger house? A bigger car? Or is it to serve? Is it to find your calling? Is it to answer your calling? Do you know your gifts? Do you know your spiritual gifts? Why are you here? Really, why are you here? Think about it. Think about it. Please leave me a comment. Do you know why you're here? Think about it. Go within. Ask spirit. What are your powers? To help others. See the light. Think about it. Next card I pulled. It's a protection guardian. It says drop your shield. Drop your shield. Don't be so guarded. You are the light. You are the light. Pray for protection. But open your heart. Work with your heart chakra. Find the love. Find the love in yourself, self-love. You may have to deal with your childhood traumas. Have you dealt with them yet? Do you know why you get triggered? Do you listen or are you so guarded you don't hear anything? Is it your ego? 
Are you humble? Is it all about you? Do you hurt people just to get what you want? Or do you sacrifice? And listen. Listen to other people. Do you? Do you take time to love other people? Do you take time to love yourself? Do you? Are you so guarded and so full of ego that you can't hear nothing? Are you? Do you know why you're here on earth? Is it all about you? Is it all about everything you want? Or do you sacrifice? And you go within. You speak to spirit. And you listen to spirit. And you meditate. And you deal with your childhood trauma. Do you forgive? Do you forgive yourself? And do you forgive others? Do you deal with it? Do you do the shadow work? Are you? Are you willing to do the shadow work? Do you resist? Are you afraid of being alone? Do you do anything not to be alone? When you're not really alone, that's when spirit, they want your time. They want to connect with you. about time you, you feel like pulling but you do everything else so you won't sit down and listen to spirit work with spirit work with your traumas do you rather take a drink cover up and to mask that pain than to get the therapy that you need. You know you have an anointing on your life. What you're running for. What you're afraid of. The work. The work that it takes. You're strong. You're very strong. So connect. What's your purpose? That's why you're truly here. You got a purpose. Be brave. You're here to help others. That's why you're here. You're here to love. Show your light. It's not about arguing with people, which way to go, who's your God, ah, that's not my God, ah, no, nah, I don't want to deal with that. There's truth in everything. You can learn from everything. What resonates with you? What resonates with you? What's your spiritual path? What's your calling? What's your truth? You're afraid of being naked? Are you? Who is that representative you show everybody? And you're that little, little child hurting but you won't take the time to heal. There's many spiritual tools to help you heal. Many people out here to help you, to assist you. 
the hill. You are that warrior. You are the warrior. But are you brave enough? It says be fearless and stand strong. That's you. That's you. That's you. There is an anointing on your life. And I am praying that you hear the calling and you accept. And you stand strong. And you know that God spirit, your angels, your ancestors are here for you. All you have to do is open your heart. Open your heart. Do the work. Do the work. Meditate. Go into nature. Ground yourself. Write, automatic writing. See what spirit has to say. Use some of these tools to help you get on your path. There is a calling on your life. You have an anointing. Go within. Go within. I pray that God touches each and every one of you. Ashe. Amen. If you were able to get anything from this message, if this message touch you in any way, please like, share, comment below, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when there's another message for you. It's all about you. That's why you're here. about you. It's about you healing. It's about you going within. Spirit will lead the way. They say you have a calling on your life. There is a calling. There is an anointing on your life. Tap within. Look within. And they are saying they will show you the way. It's a beautiful thing to be here for others. They say they will show you the way as they have showed me the way. I answer to the calling. That's my life. My life has shifted. My life has changed. I will tell, tell you more about it in the future. But come with me. Come with me. Let's grow together. Let's spiritually grow together. I've gone through a lot. And I'm still here. I am still here. And I am here for you. I am here for you. I am your reflection. 
Is there anything you want me to talk about? Any questions that you may have, please comment below. And I'll do my best to answer them. I will consult with spirit and I will do my best to answer. Okay. This was truly a blessing to be with you today. And until the next time, namaste.